Hey everyone, and welcome to my video in the XPR Starter Series. These short videos are designed for anyone taking their first steps with the XPR Network, MetalX app, and the WebAuth wallet. So, if you're already an XPR Pro, this might not be for you. But if you're just starting out in this amazing ecosystem, you're in the right place. Alright? Let's jump in. In today's video, we're going to create an XPR network account that we'll manage using the WebAuth wallet. You can access the WebAuth wallet either through your browser at webauth.com or by downloading the app on iOS or Android. In this video, we'll be using the browser version, but personally, I find the mobile apps easier for everyday use. Alright, let's head over to webauth.com to get started. Here, we've got two options, sign up or login. Since we're creating a brand new wallet, we're going to click on sign up. The first thing we need to do is choose a username. Usernames are actually a pretty cool feature in the XPR network. Unlike other networks where you have to send coins to long, cryptic address strings, in the XPR network you can send coins and assets directly to a username, simple and straightforward. But there are a few rules for usernames. It must be at least 4 characters long. It can't be more than 12 characters. You can only use lowercase letters and numbers from 1 to 5. It has to be unique. If your username checks all these boxes, you're good to move on to the next step. Next, we move on to the public name. This name will be associated with your account on the blockchain. You can change your public name at any time later on, but keep in mind, just like all blockchain activity, any changes will be recorded in the history and visible to other users. Unlike the username, the public name doesn't have to be unique, and you can use more characters here. In our example, we'll keep it simple and use the same name as the username, so we'll go with Bloxlin again. Now we're going to set up a device key so we can securely log in through the browser. On a mobile device, this would typically be your device PIN or biometric login, like fingerprint or face unlock. The great thing about this method is that the WebAuth wallet doesn't have to store your private key or recovery phrase on your device. Instead, only this device key is used to log into your wallet going forward. Since I'm using a Windows laptop, I'll go with Windows Hello as my authentication method, because I already use it to log into my PC. Next, we need to choose a device name, something completely up to you. Since I'm using Windows Hello on this laptop, I'll call it Laptop1. Now I enter the same PIN I used to sign into my computer. The WebAuth wallet is now successfully linked to Windows Hello, and I can log into my wallet just as easily as I log into my laptop. Next up is the recovery phrase for the wallet. A recovery phrase, also called a seed phrase, is a sequence of 12 words that serves as a backup for your crypto wallet. It's the only way to recover your wallet and your crypto. Whoever has this phrase has full access to everything in your wallet. So it's absolutely critical to store it offline, secretly, and securely. Never save it digitally, never take a screenshot, and never share it with anyone. We'll carefully write down all 12 words in the correct order, because in the next step we'll have to verify them, and later, this phrase is your only way to recover the wallet on a new device. And remember, if you lose your recovery phrase, there's no way to recover your wallet or your coins. If someone else gets access to it, they have full control over your wallet and everything in it. Now we need to confirm we wrote down the phrase correctly. To do this, we simply click on the words in the correct order until all 12 appear in the right sequence at the top. Once that's done, we enter our email address, so a six-digit verification code can be sent. Next, we read through the terms of service and the privacy policy carefully, then check the boxes and click Create Account. You should now have an email from metallicus.com in your inbox with the six-digit verification code. Go ahead and enter that code and hit Confirm. Now, enter the Windows Hello pin we set up earlier, it only takes a moment to set it all up, and voila! Your wallet for the account Bloxlin is now fully set up and ready to send and receive coins and assets. That's it for the first step. In the upcoming videos in this series, I'll show you how to send and swap coins and NFTs between wallets, fee-free on the XPR network. We'll also cover how to swap coins, stake XPR, and much more. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this video made your first steps into the amazing world of the XPR network a little easier. 
Keep your keys safe and stay curious, your block producer. Blocksprod.